Good morning, and welcome to this webcast about installing and configuring Forefront Threat Management Gateway TMG for Link 2010 and Link 2013. My name is Sheila, and I will be the English dubber for this presentation made by Fabrizio Volpe, Microsoft MVP on Directory Services. In the agenda, we have a note on the future of TMG products and then a short introduction to the role of TMG as a reverse proxy for Link. The topics will be why I need TMG with Link Server, a network diagram of the environment we're deploying, and a list of the system requirements for Forefront TMG. After this short introduction, we'll see a webcast with the system operation that will cover the topics install Forefront TMG, configure Forefront TMG, and configure TMG for Link. As usual, for every step, there will be an explanation on why and how we're doing a specific operation. Note on the Microsoft to discontinue some Forefront security products used by Link. The discontinued Forefront offerings, including TMG, will no longer be available for purchase as of December 1, 2012. Microsoft will be encouraging people to use their Forefront Unified Access Gateway, UAG. You'll still be able to use these products. You won't be able to purchase either of them after December 1, 2012. They won't receive any more in terms of new service packs. Support-wise, vulnerabilities will still get patched and you'll still be able to call up Microsoft and get help for TMG until 2015. After, TMG will go on into extended support until 2020. Why I need TMG with Link Server From the Jeff Schertz blog The LinkEdge server does not handle any web services requests. This means that without the optional reverse proxy, none of the features provided by web services will be available for external link clients and devices. With the reverse proxy web publishing services, Link Server, the following services are available to remote users. Download meeting content. Expansion distri distribution group. Download address book service. Provides link web app client. Conference dial-in web page. Access to location information service. Connection to the update service devices. Additionally, the link mobile client for phones and tablets will also not function without a reverse proxy deployment as these clients are 100% web-based and must be able to communicate to the Mobility IIS website, MCX, running on the Link front-end server, or servers. The Edge server does not handle any communication with the Mobility clients themselves, as they are not SIP clients. They only leverage HTTP, HTTPS communications. The only role the Edge server plays in terms of Mobility is that it is used for establishing push notification communications via Federation services. A single reverse proxy web listener can often be used for all published web services per internal pool. The official documentation often shows creating unique listeners for every different URL, but this can be costly in terms of IP addresses. When using ISA or TMG, it is possible to use the same web listener, IP address, ports, and certificate for multiple publishing rules by defining the specific URLs in the rule configuration. Network Diagram During the installation of Link Server are two sites created in IIS. One, Link Server internal website configured on ports 80 and 443, responsible for providing services to internal customers. 2. Link Server External Web, configured on ports 8080 and 4443, a site that should be published by the reverse proxy. TMG's role in this scenario is to direct internet traffic from ports 80 HTTP and 443 HTTPS to 8080 HTTP and 4443 HTTPS and Link Server front end. For the publication of the web service, we'll use three different URLs sit in the front end. Two URLs are configured by default during installation of the front end. To check this setting, run the topology builder and click Link Server 2010. 
The third URL must be configured in the properties of the front end pool. On the properties of the front end, Web Services set the URL of the external system requirements for Forefront TMG. Operating System Windows Server 2008, version SP2 or R2. Edition Standard Enterprise or Data Center. Windows Roles and Features. These roles and features are installed by the Forefront TMG Preparation Tool. Network Policy Server. Routing and Remote Access Services. Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services Tools. Network Load Balancing Tools. Windows PowerShell. You can run the preparation tool from the Forefront TMG Auto Run page. Note, Windows roles and features that are installed during the Forefront TMG installation are not uninstalled when you uninstall Forefront TMG. If required, uninstall them manually after you uninstall Forefront TMG from the server. Other software, Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 SP1, Windows Web Services API, Windows Update, Microsoft Windows Installer 4.5, Note, services and drivers flat files installed by Forefront TMG are placed in the Forefront TMG installation folder. Install Forefront TMG. Before we start the installation, we need to prepare the environment. On the TMG screen, click the Run Preparation tool and just follow the wizard. When you get to the Installation Type screen, leave the defaults which is to prepare the environment for the TMG services and the management console. Click Next. After the environment preparation is done, click the Finish button to start the TMG 2010 installation. Skip the Welcome screen by clicking Next. To be able to continue with the installation, you need to accept the EULA, so choose I accept the terms in the license agreement, then click Next. Fill in the customer information and serial number and click Next. I'm not showing it to hide the product serial number. Leave the default installation path and click Next. Here we need to tell TMG which network adapter installed in the system is our internal one. Click the Add button then add adapter. In the Select Network Adapters window, select the internal adapter. Click OK two times, then Next. This screen is telling us that some services will restart or will be disabled during installation. Click Next to continue. To start the installation, all you have to do is click Install. After the installation is completed, you have to install the TMG service packs. Note that the system requirements from Microsoft Forefront Threat Management Gateway TMG 2010 Service Pack 2 are Forefront TMG 2010 Standard Edition SP1 with Update 1 or Forefront TMG 2010 Enterprise Edition SP1 with Update 1. So we'll have to install TMG Service Pack 1 and then TMG. Configure Forefront TMG. Let's start with the first one, Configure Network Settings. Click Next on the Welcome screen. Since we have two network cards in our machine, TMG 2010 already knows that we deploy an Edge Firewall. Leave the defaults and click Next. From the drop-down list, select the network adapter, which belongs to the internal network, in our case, LAN. Click Next. In this screen, TMG 2010 already selects the available network adapter as an external. I've decided to use only the internal DNS to resolve names from TMG, so it's easier to keep my split brain configuration without using host file on TMG. If TMG needs to resolve an external FQDN, the query will be routed through the internal DNS as it happens for a standard client. On the summary screen, click the Finish button. We reached the second step of the TMG 2010 configuration wizard. Click the link Configure System Settings. After the welcome screen, we tell TMG if this is part of a domain or workgroup. 
you'll receive a lot of questions on TMG features to be activated or not. Basically, we're deploying a reverse proxy, so we don't need a lot of features. Configure TMG for link. For publication, you must configure a certificate server in TMG container. This will be associated to HTTPS port in TMG. The certificate was issued by the same certificate that was used in the certificates of the front end. The certificate must be configured with the common name to FQDN, configured in the external web services. This scenario. The SAN certificate must be configured with all the URLs created in the front end. I've exported the front end certificate and imported it in my TMG server. With the certificate start, the TMG management console right click on firewall policy, select new and start the wizard. Website publishing rule. Set the name of the publishing rule. I decided for link 2013. Create a rule to allow. In the publish type, select publish, a single website or load balancer. In the server connection security, select the option, use SSL to connect to the published web server or server farm. Configure internal publishing details and configure the internal site name, the FQDN of your front end server, verify that the TMG is able to correctly resolve the FQDN and successfully ping the server front end. In internal publish details, set the path slash asterisk. Important, flag the forward the original host header option. In the public name details, select this domain type, type below. Set the public name, which was set to the URL external site. In the web listener, create a new listener. Set a name for the new listener. In the client connection security, select require SSL secured connections with clients. In the web listener IP address, select the network external and then click select IP address. Select the URL set to IP in DNS. Configure with the IP advance. In the listener SSL certificate, select use single certificate for the web listener and select certificate. Select the certificate configured with the URL's link server. Proceed with the configured certificate. In authentication settings option, set no authentication. In single sign on settings, do not change any setting and advance. Finalize the creation of the web listener. Go in creating the rule. In Authentication Delegation, select No Delegation, but Client may authenticate directly. Do not change the security settings of the rule. Complete the Setup Wizard. Go to the Management Console and open the Rule Properties. Tab, Binding, set the redirected requests to HTTP port 8080. Redirect requests to HTTP port 4443. tab, public name, add the URLs configured, meet and dial in, to test the reverse proxy, you can call the meet and dial in URL. Thank you for your kind attention.